Neurological assessments for the NCLEX, nursing school, and real life. Let's go through these. ANO times three, alert and oriented times three. Are they alert to time, place, and person? And they go away in that order. Time, then place, then person. The next one is DTRs, deep tendon reflexes. So what are we worried about with deep tendon right reflexes? It's on a scale from zero to four plus, two plus being normal, zero absent deep tendon reflexes, one is diminished, two normal, three is brisk, so they got the hyperreflexia, and then four is gonna be hyperactive with clonus. The next one is Glasgow coma scale. It's on a scale of one to 15, 15 being normal. Then we're looking at eight being to intubate, and what are we looking at? We're looking at their eye opening, we're looking at their verbal response, and we're looking at the motor response, and it goes from a scale from one to four, one to five, and one to six, respectively. Then the last one is pupil assessment. Know the mnemonic PERLA. Pupils are equal, reactive to light with accommodation, PERLA. And what we're looking at is if they're abnormal, unequal means we have increased ICP, stroke, or herniation. If they're fixed and dilated, Think of brain death or herniation. And lastly, pinpoint looks, you're going to look at opioid overdose and potential pontine hemorrhage.